Ecuador is a country with more than 100 volcanoes, around 40 of which are potentially active. Cotopaxi is just one of a number of the active volcanoes surrounding the city of Quito. This ice-capped stratovolcano is almost 6,000 metres high and is situated around 35 miles away in the Cotopaxi National Park. Evidence of lahars, lava flows and ash deposits can be seen here from historic eruptions. Cotopaxi is of particular interest to the Vuelco project because it's one of the most active and hazardous volcanoes in Ecuador. Recent studies estimate that on average, one explosive lahar triggering event has occurred every 117 years over the past millennia. Cotopaxi's most recent significant eruption was on the 26th of June, 1877, when erosion and melting of the ice cap led to catastrophic lahars that travelled around 10 kilometres from the volcano's apron. The city of Quito was established in the 16th century and records show that in 2014 the population was over 2.6 million. Despite a large number of earthquakes, including one of 5.1 in 2014, the old colonial part of the city has been well preserved and was declared a UNESCO heritage site in 1978. Cotopaxi has been monitored by the Instituto Geofisico since 1977. Since 2001, ongoing increased levels of seismicity and fumarolic activity have been observed. The current activity has major implications in terms of heat transfer into Cotopaxi's ice cap, with a potential for an eruption with catastrophic lahars. The very real possibility of a large eruption near this densely populated city drives scientists in the Vuelco project to search for a better understanding of volcanic unrest and risk management. In November 2014, members of the Vuelco Consortium held a short course in Quito. It was attended by 50 people from 12 different countries with the aim of more clearly understanding the causes of volcanic unrest. The team took a field trip to the Cotopaxi National Park, which provided an opportunity to examine rocks and geophysical materials in the, in the field. They met with authorities in Latacunga and visited areas nearby to examine the landscape and rock history to learn about the kinds of eruptions that have occurred. Snow and ice on the volcano and then they come very quickly down valley. How quickly? Between 50 to 70 kilometers an hour. A visit to the IGEPN Monitoring Centre provided insights into the work done monitoring volcanoes in Ecuador, including Tungurahua. At the ECU 9-11 Centre, a simulation exercise was conducted involving ECU staff, the local authorities and the Vuelco team. Unrest signals were received and the data analysed by all the expertise in attendance. It's now open and magma can freely flow without having to put... But this is very often, this is very often observed. It's the... And that means 
excludes the recommendation. Throughout the week, there was scientific, legal and social science expertise on hand for lectures and presentations, and many in attendance had personal experience of dealing with volcanic eruptions in the Philippines, Latin America and other parts of the globe. One source, its content...